What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. So, it looks like Schoolface responds back to Knox Hill's Stalker one, and we got the Heart Part 6 remix response. So, he went from doing the Drake, I mean, the Kendrick beats to now the Drake beat and such. So, hey. But all I'm saying, look. And it's eight minutes of this shit. All I'm gonna say is, with the way, if you know how, all I'm saying is this. If you've heard Drake's Heart Part 6, all I'm gonna say is, screw you, better not go out sad. Well, from other reactors, from the likes of Cliff Beats, No, no Life Shack, <clears throat> Stevie Knight, and such. They saying you going out sad, so hey. With eight minutes of this shit, you better be trying to prove them wrong. Knox, Knox Hill included, so. Hold on, let me fix my headphones and such. And now, let's get into this. So we better check it out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me now, my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. He said he lied. Shout out to you, my hey, man, to you <laughs> It says stalker. We're gonna get to that. Stay tuned, huh? So obviously, right here, same thing. So obviously, he debunked that already. Keep doing your thing. I'm actually gonna keep seeing the, like the, the grind on you, bro. Thank you, bro. I'm trying. I'm so trying. I can't wait for your next record. As well. Yes. Like, hey. The one for you. Like, I gotta hear some wavy sh Yo, the fucking slime EP. Yeah. My yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know, so all stories got throw that out there. You feel me? <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to you, man. That really, that really, yeah, man. And Righteous or Ratchet. Hey, That's still going. Man. I still listen to that shit every day. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. But hey, I'm gonna get back to this edit because I'm gonna I'm gonna end up not getting right, it well, out. Right, but well, hey, right. appreciate you, my G. Thank I you. Appreciate you. All right. Um. Oh, so it looks like you ain't really have shit to say, huh? <laughs> well, let's get to Chopper's favorite. First yes. it was about crippled. I was all for the sea. Was mm. I following him or was he following me? How am I taking notes of fucking following leads when his first fucking song is with me? Mm. His first song was with him. Okay. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Run it back. My taking notes of fucking following leads when his first fucking song is with me. His first. Oh, yeah. Because I was about to say, why does this look like? But yeah, his first song was with school. November 20. November 5th, 2018. <laughs> the next one. November 6, 2018. So his first song is with. Hey. Nice. Okay, so already debunked that one and such, alright? Are uh, you drowning? But I'm the one with the leak. Okay, drowning like your wa like water and such. Okay, but leak as in like you're dropping in, like he said, credibility and such. Okay. Oh, so hold on, hold on. Because I remember where Knoxville was saying about the death the mumble rap thing and such. Hold on. So he run that back. So what was it? They asked me to show up in the video I passed, bitch. I already addressed this on that loop guard track. I swear to God, that you ain't the one that asked me to be in your video guard. I swear to God, that I ain't stay in the car the whole damn time and just laugh at you hard. See, I told you, motherfuckers, just making the same song. You heard one screw this, then you basically heard them all. No, it's odd. Notice you ain't talk about them all. Whole intro about rebuttals, but where are they in the song? Oh my god, that Tom McDonald clip is so weak. Please show me why I said he was heat. You motherfucking true cap, but I was. Who 
Wait, what? Right? Was squashing the beef. And I had said a line in it where I said, if I was black, then so is the strap, brat, the tom, like McDonald, right? And I didn't think it was going to be taken the way it was taken, but I got a wave of your people coming in like, oh, he just, why would you do? So I get, so, so hey, oop, hat went off. Hold up, so, but still though, that does, but even so, right, even so. Why in your even though you even though you debunk it here, but it still feels weird because you were saying about how Tom McDonald. If you listen to Tom, you think Tom McDonald is fire. You go, Ugh. like you're disgusted with Tom. So even though this shows that you squash a certain beef with Tom and such or whatever, why did you even bring it up in the first place? Though that's what I'm saying. And I didn't think it was going to be taken the way it was taken, but I got a wave of your people coming in like, oh, he just, why would you do that? Ah! And they're going crazy. So I just wanted everybody to know that we cool. We good. Like, you know, like, how, did you take it, any offense to that line? Five years ago, he moved less off of the me. Made a song about being black that was important to me Cause all the racism I got just got annoying to me I was saying there was a problem they ignored in my G But I know if he said the same thing that all that is space The thing that you did that was the most important No matter how anybody felt this song Is you said that this problem exists And believe it or not That little of a statement Literally 180 certain people where they didn't think it was a thing But coming from you it's like Oh, whoa, 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 this really does happen. Like, I, and I watched people who argued with me pr previously come back and be like, okay, now I kind of understand what, what you're saying yeah. more. And that's why I appreciate it so Since then he's changed his campaign, and it ain't been the damn same. And I said to his damn face, I'm glad he checked his fan base. And from your point of view, that's why I literally <clears throat> said the messenger is important because Word. his, the, he, there's people in your fan base who needed to hear that. But it's okay, fuck this that pool. I get, in a way, I guess that he debunked all that and such, but it's still weird. It's just still weird that why would you, even if, like I said, you debunked it, cool, but even so, if you know about that, right, why did you still say it in your Euphoria remix? That's all I'm saying. Like, you say that you and him is cool, you say that you patched it up and whatnot, then da da da, right? But why did you have to? But why did you say that? And plus, this was a fuck. This was like this is 2018, right? So this is like a uh, let me see. This is like a six-year-old video right here, right? This particular interview you had with him was six years old. I can tell. So why you still even brought it up though? Or why did you even brought up that line with you think Tom McDonald was fire? Uh, when this and that, but I'm just saying, that's just me. I could be looking at it wrong, but Ooh, your fan base who needed to hear that. But it's okay, fuck this that bro, got lasers on tools. The full bus you throw not I'm not a glazer like you. You fucking fool. I still think your taste a little skewed. Once I saw you hype bench the hero bars, you was through. The way you be cutting up could Okay now look. That Ben Shapiro, I guarantee you, everybody would I guarantee you he was probably trolling in that reaction and such. And plus with the whole, like I said in my other reaction where I, when I reacted to his Not Like Us remix one. Nigga, ain't no way I don't do the whole politics thing. So especially if he, Ben Shapiro is rapping and such. Am I going to tune into it if other people are reacting to it? Otherwise, if you think I'm going to listen to that. Not to saying I hate, not to saying to hate him. So it's just... The minute it starts believing about politics and all that and agendas and whatnot, I'm clocking out. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm just clocking out. A little skewed once I saw you hype bench the hero bars you was through. The way you be cutting up clips is really fucking up shit. You really tried to pop it, you took a swing and ain't touches. And these pre recorded diss <laughs> tracks ain't giving you crack because you ain't really rebuttal anything that I said. I said you joked about an innocent man being dead. Fucking throw down with chops out and walk right in. Force his mother to cook his supper while they 
them to clear that shit If you actually believe that, then you weirder than shit Sometimes I feel some don't be thinking, they just hearing a diss Nobody knew I was coming, I just appeared in that bitch Well, to anyone who does believe that, here it is <clears throat> Here's the receipts So, this was from 2021 of May So, let's see You should have put it that way I know it's for y'all that I'm saying this way, but for me, I'm looking at it, or either way. May 21st, and there's the article, so May 21st at 8.05 p.m. Ooh, okay. So that singing part on that piano, I got you. So basically, I'm on the bridge. And then you want that light, you want that light drop hook. Recorded message. Now we gotta stay at our own spot. Da -da -da. Then he tried to do a voice call. Do you still need me to send a message or oh, we good? We good, bro. Hey, what camera are your cousin using? Hold on, let me ask. He a professional camera guy though. He got all the best ish. He got all the best shit. He said a Canon 5R. Okay. Coming on the 25th, laying at 8 15 in the morning, cuz so what time you be looking? Because you think it's 26, I told you. Wow. <laughs> hey, school got his one thing with school, got his research. Nobody knew I was coming, I just appeared in that bitch. Even though it was two years, so hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, because that song was um, back in June. I remember reacting to that, and then a month later and such. Hold on, hold on, run that back. He was hurting easy growth, boy, but who was right? Cause easy aftermath, he alone, boy. If we ain't really cool, and I'm just so he basically, and because I was, because I saw a comment on my video saying about how the person who was talking in that vid in. Knox Hill's like this track to school stalker that was H bomb and where the comment was on basically sent me like a link or so to the video saying about how school face cloud chasing on whatnot so that was from like H bomb and such I'm get and that was Easy Mail's ex manager look sometimes I gotta know look I'm not Look, for those who are probably going to roast me saying, how did you not know that, mother sucker? I don't pay attention to stuff like that all the time. Okay? So, chill. So, yeah. But the fact that this... It's just crazy. This is... It's just crazy that school has a rebut... He rebuttaling everything that Knox is saying and more. Catch another three W's on this nigga like dot com, www.com and such. Mm, okay. Any lie that finna leave you after this one. Gotta be a hater to believe you after this one. Double down on that Stevie angle, you fake. Like I'll back down, but we already saw me off of the fade. If you just want to squabble, if you just want to run fade because you don't like what I said, it is what it is. I'll never turn that down either. You quit soccer. I mean, when you but I mean, but the thing is. With that and such, with the whole squabble thing. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. I'm, there's no edits or anything, so if you want to, just skip to the end, but I'm gonna be right back. Be right back.
Sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, like I'm si Whoa, what was that saying? Shit. My damn parents got me confused. What was I was trying to say? Let me see if I can remember. Fuck it, I don't it don't matter. But back to this. Oh yeah. School. Just because he offered a fate to somebody, right? The thing, you know what's the difference between wanting to fight somebody for the fate and whatnot and doing it in a boxing ring? At least in the boxing ring, it's all legal. Meaning that nigga. It's still the same thing as like catching a fade and whatnot. The only difference is we making sure that nobody like tries to get sued or anything. There's no like illegal stuff that's about to happen and such. Nobody pulls a gun out and such. Cause saying if we did go do that shit in the streets, right? And you and I get it, you saying about how it's a organized this and that in the third. But at the end of the day, nigga. I, I would rather an organized boxing match in search than to do one in the streets in search because you know know what's gonna happen there because because and f plus with the with your fr with the niggas you hang out with with the niggas you know for all the years with with your brother queso because i i'm not trying to say well i don't know about that much about queso but with monk fu and such because i mean in that Freaking Euphoria remix the video, and especially in that second beat, this nigga flashing out the gun and shit. Even though you pixelated and such, this nigga flash out the gun and shit. What if you went there with him and such? What if you make him come with you, and then all of a sudden, as soon as when the shit goes down, this nigga pulls out the blick and starts shooting at him. And guess what? You and Monfu will be going to jail. Hmm. Then what? And then Stevie dies right there. Then what? Hmm? How, and Cause right then in there, that's gonna look totally bad on two ends. One, your end for not wanting to sell it this one by one cause you wanted to carry a monk for you. And two, you talking about how we black on black killing each other, we should not be doing that in kings at all, when you just did this. And hell, even adding a third one. He, Stevie just got a new kid, just have a new kid now, right? Just got a, just but recently, Stevie's wife basically just birthed a new kid into this world. If that were to ever have, if that were to, if that fade were to ever happen, right? Just in the streets and whatnot. And then all of a sudden, just saying, right? Mumfu comes with you, and then all of a sudden, when shit gets too hot and such, this nigga Mumfu gonna pull out the blicky and start blaming him. Then what would it happen? Stevie would have died right there. You two would be going to jail. And guess what? Even you, school, and you, Mumfu, basically, all three of y'all, y'all both have girls. Stevie's girl would miss his husband. Stevie's girl and his child his newborn child they don't have their father and you two would end up in jail school your wife don't see you no more and monk fool your girl not gonna see you no more what would have happened there so that's why i'm saying at least with a boxing match you would still be able to sell it out in the fight as just long as long as it's it's just that it's legal Nothing's no illegal shit's gonna happen and such. That's how I look at it. So I would if even if it takes a lot of time, I rather the box I rather the organized boxing and such than the fade to the streets. Take it to the streets because nine times out of ten with the streets, you always hear with the streets there is no rules. Back it up a little bit. want to squabble if you just want to run a fade because you don't like what i said it is what it is i'll never turn that down either you quit soccer when you rolled your ankle because you bitch made i hope you roll your ankle six times when you on this stage when you rolled your ankle because you bitch made i hope you roll your ankle six times when you on this stage we know why you mad and we can see it all on his face saw me on the erb and almost did a spit take the 
feature who's on it. And yes, as some of you know, as some of you have guessed, I am not a big fan of Screwface Sean. You might feel a different way. That's cool. But listen, at the end of the day, we're all here for ERB. I'm a huge fan of ERB. They made a decision for a reason to put him on this. So I feel like it's not right if I don't react to it. I have to let you know how I feel going into it. But, you know, I, I'm an adult here. We can put our big boy pants on. Okay, four time. Okay, so he already debunked that time because he was always saying about how he always big up how he from Nebraska and such, but he rarely ever goes to Ni Nigeria and such. But now he just debunked that. How many of your friends is helping you try to win this pussy? You need more henchmen. I'm actually amazed all the fake shit that you say. Back and forth the night of four times I've lived in the States. Oh man, another fucking mistake. How many times you kick a lie, then I just prove it was fake. So next time that the snake has got something to say, and you believe him after this, you must be off of that base. Oh, you thinking that you better as a rapper and reactor? With them choppy flows and them fake ass reactions. Oh, you don't believe me? He be playing in his reactions? Well, let's hear his homeboy talk about his cap. He'll give you like full dissections. Come on now. I was wondering why I saw where Clippy was saying I'm his ghostwriter and such. Or, basically, look, all I'm saying is, you know what, let this speak up. Let's hear homeboy talk about his cap. He'll give you like full dissections where he studied the material first, where he studied the material first. I ain't gonna lie, this is the first time in my entire history that I got a diss track on me where everything was a disprovable lie. <laughs> This man really put in this song that I basically broke into someone's house, stole a beat, stole a feature, stole a music video, flew from Vegas back to Nebraska and stole a clearance and I wasn't even there. <laughs> hey, y'all believe that? Oh I mean, my God. When I was involved, it appeared <laughs> fraud here the looking at some stuff in prep work. Like, I came up with this, like, let's talk about having a leak in their camp because we knew that they were a paranoid person, right? And they've fallen out with a lot of people. So even if you don't have a leak, it's a good bluff to play in poker, really. Okay. All right. Not gonna lie though, he did debunk a lot of his stuff. So, can't cap on that. But, I will say, and it's not to be deriding or anything, all I'm saying is this though. Think about the entire thing through and such. On the part where he was talking about the interview and such, right? With, with the interview with Easy Mill. The Righteous and Ratchets music video was in June. June 25th, basically on his birthday of 2021, right? And then, let's see, so from June, July, August, September, October, November, December, Mo I mean, November, no hold on, <laughs> sorry, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Ten months and such it took you a while to speak to Easy Mill again. I'm just saying if you say he's if you're cool with him like that all the time, you should be able to still want to speak to him. Uh, not to say every day, but at least almost every two weeks or so. But it is what it is. But let me see what LLC was saying. Basic and basically with the whole boxing thing and such with the fade and such you already heard my speak on that so I ain't try to repeat myself on that but one thing I was shocked with that he was talking about how with the ERB one I didn't know about that so 
this has been simmering. So this didn't just pop up out of nowhere because that's what I thought it was at the first. But when he was saying about the ERB and such, because if I'm not mistaken, wasn't school school was in ERB back in 2022 or so? Was it 2022 or 2020? I think it was 2021. Possibly. I don't remember, but I know he was on ERB, so this happened way before back then. But hey, either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Do you believe school won or do you not? But either way, and look, don't be no D, don't be just saying, oh, it knocks it. No, really tell me and such. And who knows, I might see Knox, Knox respond back with a bat like that next minute. Maybe he will, maybe he won't, but we'll see. But either way, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.